and Liz with The Art of Frosting. And this time I've got you for you five quick Mother's Day cake ideas. Now we're going to cut these into five short videos. They'll all go together, so we'll link them one after the other. So this is video one. So for these videos, we're not focusing on technique. We're just focusing on the design. I want you to see how many ways that you can put these cakes together quickly. But I will link you a playlist to all of the techniques that we're using here today, all the videos that cover these in more detail. I'm going to start with my chocolate cake because this really is the simplest, most classic one. I'm going to need to turn it towards myself so that I can see what I'm doing here. I'm good, but not that good. Okay, so basically what we're doing is putting a long stem rose on here. And I just have a bag with the um, end cut out with green. I just want to start about two thirds of the way up and bring it down in an arc. Thin it down at the end, give it a little panache. I'm gonna come in here with another one. Those are my leaves and then one way up top like this that's gonna go behind my rose. So that's the base. Next, we're going to go ahead and put a rose. This is from the Rose on the Stick video. That will be in the playlist. We just want to make a quick rose. And we want to place it just at the top here. Like that. We want to use our rose tip again and create just a little rose, but it's actually a sweet pea. And one way up here. And then we come quickly back in with, turn this towards you so you can see leaves that come right up the back of our sweet peas. Want another one here and just another one there. So just seconds, we've got that cake top done. I want to come in here on the side and I actually am just going to do a large e-motion around the back. Okay, I've come all the way around both sides with the e-motion, coming one direction on one side and one direction on the other. So that here in the front, my last one meets in the middle and creates a heart in the front. So your large borders are going to make this look nice and full. And then we'll get mom on there on the end. Here we are with our rose. This is, gives us a little more space. I'm going to write diagonally. And if you didn't notice, I, you may be able to see it here in this slide. I actually ran my spatula through the top of that ganache to give it another layer of design. I may not have mentioned that before. I'm going to write Happy Mother's Day on this. My letters are tall and skinny. So I hope you enjoyed watching this short video. Remember that there are four more that we'll link at the end to make all five videos. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe. Join me at my blog. Join me on Facebook. And like us. We'll see y'all soon. Thanks.